Hi, I'm Linus. Once upon a time, someone told us that the Earth is round. Nowadays, people are just asking, how can we see this ourselves? Some say, when you look at the horizon, you can't see the curvature of the Earth. It all looks flat. They say, we go up in an aeroplane. But it still looks flat. So, I guess they'd be right. When you look at the horizon, it is very difficult to see that it is actually curved. Even when you go up to a very high altitude, you can't quite tell that it's curved. You're probably going to need some sort of ruler as a reference. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can see the curvature of the Earth with your own eyes. I have used a video camera, of course, and a slight zoom, but you can actually see it without any equipment. Trust me when I say that the recipe for success is to find a little lake, hope for some nice weather, get your favorite beach towel and lie down next to the lake. Or even better, go for a swim. Before looking at any video clip, let's spend a minute with Pythagoras' theorem to see how the distance to the horizon is affected by the viewer's height. You see, the curvature that I'm talking about isn't the actual horizon. It isn't this one. It's this one. We find that the distance d is roughly a constant times the square root of the height. With our constants 34, 64 for metric and 64, 65 for imperial, let's see how far away the horizon is. So a height of six feet gives us a distance to the horizon of three miles. Doing the same thing for metric using our constant 34, 64 and 180 centimeters, we get a distance of 4.6 kilometers, roughly the same answer. So let's try one foot and one inch. One foot gives us a distance of 1.2 miles. One inch, a twelfth of a foot, gives us a distance of only a third of a mile to the horizon. In metric, five centimeters gives us three quarters of a kilometer. And one centimeter, finally, a third of a kilometer. That's a fifth of a mile. So the important thing to realize here is that if you're very close to the water surface, you can actually see the horizon moving towards you or away from you as you vary your height. With a slight zoom, looking at the island, you can see water beyond the island. As we lower our height, we can no longer see water beyond the island. The island starts to disappear and we can only see waves that are close to us. And going up again. Again we can see the water beyond the island, we can see the island, and we can see waves that are far away. And this is how easy it is to see the curvature of the Earth. So the green line is from the camera to the far shore, which is 10 kilometers, six miles. And the little blue line is the distance to the little island, which is half a kilometer away, third of a mile. I wonder if it's possible to actually see curvature in a swimming pool. For example, an Olympic sized swimming pool is 50 meters long. In any case, I should probably get a waterproof camera instead. Shoutouts go to Miquest of Metabank.org, who once said, stand up to detect the curve of the Earth. And to Sly Sparkane, who has spent a huge amount of time testing and experimenting. Check out his YouTube channel. And to Walter Bieslin, who has a very in-depth web page with plenty of information on how to calculate and measure various aspects of the globe Earth. Go ahead and like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.